is from cellomoji.com and I'm going to talk to you today about the notes in first position on the C string. This is part of my Cello 101 series where I'm talking a lot about some of the foundational skills that are good to know when you're starting out with cello. I think in order for you to be successful in playing cello uh, at any level that it's really important to have some good foundational skills. So with that, I have to put this disclaimer in saying that if you are a beginning cellist, I really do recommend that you have a private cello teacher. Um, this way that someone working with you one-on-one -on -one can really keep an eye out for any bad habits that may come up, can double check are you playing the right notes and are you playing the right rhythms, and more importantly can make sure that your physical setup of when you're playing the cello is right so this will really help prevent any injuries in the long run. If you like these Cello 101 videos um, and you'd like to see more how-to videos, be sure to give a thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment box below. I'd love to hear uh, what you'd like to see. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of when there are other Cello Mojo videos coming out. Um, I like to put out a whole bunch of tutorial videos on learning how to play cello and also just playing fun things on the cello as well. So before I get started on teaching the notes on the C string, I'd like to give credit where credit is due. I learned this style of uh, teaching all the notes in first position from a teacher that I had uh, when I was in school, Dr. Lori Scott. And she co-wrote a book uh, with William Dick, who's also another very important music pedagogy teacher in the music world, and they co-wrote this book called Mastery for Strings. Um, this is something that I learned in school of how to effectively teach uh, some of the beginning notes to beginner students. And I found this has been so helpful in my own teaching career and teaching lots of little cellos of how to play all the notes in first position. Alright, so let's get started on the C string. So the rhythm I like to use is 4 16th notes and 2 8th notes. I like to use this rhythm because um, it just sort of takes out the worry of trying to sustain long tones and keeping a beautiful tone while you're doing it. Plus also uh, these quicker rhythms are ones that we commonly see in a lot of the beginner cello songs that we play. So we're going to now put our first finger on the C string, which is the lowest string on the cello, or another way to look at it is it's the fattest string on the cello. And when you put your first finger on the C string, it will look like this on the staff. As you can see, it is below the staff. There's one line here, and then it is the note that is right below that line. So this is what we call our low D. So it will sound like this, four sixteenth notes and two eighth notes. Because the C string is so much larger than the other strings, really make sure that you are getting good contact of the finger to the fingerboard. If you're not making good contact, it'll sound a little fuzzy, and the note itself may not speak very well for you. Alright, we're moving on. So now we're putting our second finger down, so here's one and two. And when we put more than one finger down, I usually like to say, try not to do an individual finger like this because it just puts a lot of extra strain on the hand that you really don't need. And especially because our third and fourth fingers are usually the weaker fingers, um, it's just a lot harder to get, especially a large string like the C string, down to the fingerboard. So if one finger is down and you have to add a finger, just go ahead and use both fingers to help get the string down to the fingerboard. So now we have two fingers down. Here's one and two. And this is what the note's going to look like. Here's the line and then the note. And you can notice here is the sign that represents flat. So this is what we call an E flat, a low E flat. So the note will sound like this. So let's review all of the notes. We have the open C play. First finger down, D play. E flat play. Alright, so now we have three fingers down, one, two, and three, and as you can see, we have another E here, and this one is called E natural, and this is the sign for natural. Now, I really like to say if something is flat, something is natural, or something is sharp, because by just saying it's an E, 
doesn't really mean much, I guess. Like it could mean one of three options. So as you're learning these notes in first position, it's really important that you yourself make this distinction so that it's just really clear for you which E are you playing. So E with the third finger, making sure all three fingers are down, is going to sound like this. So let's review all of the notes. We have C, play, D, play, E flat, play, E natural, play. Okay, so we are up to our last note on the C string in first position. So now we have all four fingers down, one, two, three, and four, and it's going to look like this on the staff. It is the first note that is right underneath this line right here. So that is what we call our F. So F will sound like this. Again, using four sixteenth notes, two eighth notes as our rhythm. So let's go over all of the notes in first position on the C string, starting with C. Play. D. Play. E flat. Play. E natural. Play. F. Play. Then go backwards, F, play, pick one up, E natural, play, pick one up, E flat, play, pick one up, D, play, and then the open string, C, play. I like to say the note letter and play afterwards because it really helps give a good sense of timing between the left hand and the right hand. So by giving yourself a chance to actually say the note, you're making sure your left hand is down fully on the fingerboard and that your left hand has stopped moving before your right hand starts moving. This will really help produce a really good tone on your cello. So it's really important to make sure that you are being really firm in your head about, okay, what note am I playing with this finger, but also making sure that the coordination between the two hands are working well for you. By making a good tone on the cello, you are actually really uh, helping your brain to learn, okay, this is the right pitch, this is what it should sound like when everything is working correctly. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, be sure to check out some of the other Cello 101 videos that covers the other notes in first position. Um, and hopefully this will help build up a strong foundation of where the notes are in first position. This will really help you going forward when you're trying to learn other songs or um, when you're trying to read music and trying to play it on your cello. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified of when other videos comes out. If there are any questions that I haven't addressed in this video or other Cello 101 videos, be sure to leave them in the comment box below and I will try to get to them as quick as I can. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!